Hello, I am Koi, and today we will be talking about the spin slash setup for bomb jumps. So to do a bomb jump across a two tiled wide gap like this one right here in Skull Woods, you must be facing down to place the bomb, while also standing on the closest possible pixel to the gap as you can, without actually having fallen in. Now that is really difficult to line up uh, and know you're in the right spot by just walking up to it, right? I think we're actually in the right spot. Let's try it. Did I get it? Nope. Yeah, see, uh, it's really difficult to just see it. Uh, if you do it enough times, you'll figure it out. Uh, but there's an easier way, like what I just displayed right there. And so what's going to happen is we're going to use the spin slash animation to prevent us from falling in the hole when we should have fallen in the hole. Uh, so all you do is you hold your sword down away from the hole, walk up to the hole, and as we're falling in, we're going to let go of B and hold away from the hole. And that will cause us to teeter on the edge for a very brief amount of time, and then they will place us on the closest possible pixel, which is the correct pixel for the bomb jump. Just like that. Show it once more. Hold the sword down, we're gonna walk up to the edge, spin slash, and while the spin slash animation is happening, we hold away from the hole. Just like that. Works every time. Another place you can use this is in Tower of Hera. Although this is a much scarier place to use this because if you do mess it up and fall down the hole, it is a two floor fall. Uh, it costs a lot of time to get back up there. Uh, so definitely don't try it here until you're super comfortable with it. But again, it's not that difficult to do. So the same as in Skull Woods, we hold the sword down. We're gonna walk towards the edge of the hole and let go of B while holding away from the hole. Just like that. Let's see if we can get a good, a good teeter so you can see it. Watch Link real carefully, and if I do it right, he will, like, uh, be balancing on the edge for a second and trying to get back. No. Oh. That was the right spot. I just, I want to get the teeter. That was a good teeter. <laughs> Watch him real carefully to see him almost falling off. That was a really good one. I hope you saw that one. Pause and rewind if you wanted to catch that again. <laughs> Uh, but there's a lot of uh, leeway for when you actually let go of B. Like that time he didn't teeter at all, but I'm still in the right spot. Another place you can use this is in Spectacle Rock Cave. Uh, we're going to use the spin slash setup here, but going the other direction. Um, but in this one in particular, it, your X coordinate matters. Uh, you can't just do it from any spot left and right. It has to be a very particular one. And I have no easy way to find that. What I basically do is I try and walk into the corner so the corner pushes me. Uh, as I'm doing the jump. So we're going to walk into the corner. Is that something too close to the corner? I can't walk past it. So we know go over a little bit. And now we're too far right, which I only know because I've done this several times. And I know what the uh, the shadow looks like. I wish I had a better way to, to set up the X coordinate, but the spin slash setup is going to be the same. That's good. It's exactly the same as the other bomb jumps. Uh, we're going to hold the sword away from the hole, let go of B when we get close to it, and then hold away from the hole during the animation. I think I might be too up. Nope, we're good. <laughs> I have myself on the right X coordinate in the safe state, so I didn't have to find it every single time. Uh, but coming into the room, like, I'd have to do like this for a while. That's too far right. There we go. And the last place I want to show you uh, where you can use the spin slash setup to prevent yourself from falling in the hole to find the right spot to bomb jump is a very terrifying room for me, because this is a much more difficult one for me to do. The hookshot room in Ice Palace. Uh, so I'm not very good at this one, and it might take me a number of attempts. Uh, so here's hoping, right? Uh, so for this one, we're going to do the spin slash setup the same as in Spectral Rock Cave, going down. We're in the right spot. But this time, we actually need to move right after placing the bomb uh, for it to push us diagonally towards the uh, other ledge over there. Um... 
Now, I can just, like, move right and just stop in the right spot, but uh, that puts me a lot in danger of just falling off, so we're gonna try doing a spin slash to the right while we're facing up during the bomb explosion. My main problem with this one is that I forget to let go of B a lot of times. It's kind of like uh, patting your head while rubbing your stomach at the same time. Some people are really good at that. I'm, I'm not one of those people. I forgot to let go of B. <laughs> oh my, I, I didn't let go of B again. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And it just pushes us right across the gap. And we can leap. Try it a few more times. I got scared. <laughs> For good reason. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Didn't let go of B. Didn't go far enough. There we go. There we go, we did it. <laughs> Let's go back to an easier one. <laughs> so, I hope this helped you. That's not even close to right. <laughs> Am I not doing it right? I'm going crazy now. There we go. Okay. So I hope that helped you set up these bomb jumps just a little bit better. They can definitely save a lot of time. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and... Wait, one more. One more. Have a great day.